Chicago, and we are having a treacherous thunder and lightning storm. It is eight o'clock in the morning. I don't even know if you can hear me because it's so loud and all the lights in my little condo are on because it's pitch black out. So I'm here to do something very exciting and I'm not sure if I can tell you about it in this video, but I'm excited about it. I am actually going to see um, Christian from CXC Beauty. Um, he's out here in the Orlando area. I've been out here on other vlogs before to see him, and I think in my, in the last few vlogs ago, I showed you guys me going out there because my jewelry is now in their retail store. So I've sold some pieces, which is very exciting. I can't even put it into words how exciting it is to have someone come into a physical store and buy my jewelry. So I have some new pieces that are not live on my site yet, but I'll show you here because by the time this vlog goes live, hopefully they will be. I hope you can hear me over this thunder and lightning. It is so loud. Here's my outfit of the day. I'm just gonna wear this white button down over a tank because it's raining and layers because it's supposed to be sunny later in the afternoon. But this necklace is one of the necklaces I'm bringing over to CXC Beauty today. This is my Orion necklace. And it's so beautiful. I'm going to show it to you on, but I have this and I have a matching bracelet and it's in four different stones. And these are 10 millimeter faceted stones. This is black labradorite. It's larv called larvkite. It comes in four different stone options and it has the same hardware as my Harmony necklaces that were really, really popular. And I will show it to you on. It is so cute. I love it so much. Okay, so here is the necklace on. This lighting is not great, but here's what it looks like. I have now showered and done makeup, obviously, but um, yeah, isn't it so cute? Good morning. Yesterday ended up being a super long day. And I didn't vlog. Well, I did vlog, but I vlogged the stuff that I can't tell you about, you know? Um, but I am just finished, I finished getting dressed. Uh, this is my outfit. I just have a headband in because my hair is a mess. And OOTD, a quick, a quick pan of my outfit. I have no shoes on yet. It is a beautiful day out today, which I am very glad about. My coffee is made. The coffee addiction is real. I have a thermos, I made coffee, and then I have my little cup, and I will make coffee in the car. I have my stevia and my um, cashew milk in my thermos bag thing, because I bring m most of my own food too, just because I'm a wellness nerd. <laughs> listen to Andrew Huberman he talks about morning light viewing I might have mentioned this in my last vlog it's really important to get Sun in your eyes every single morning within like three hours of waking up while it's low in the sky it helps regulate your cortisol and your hormones um, and in my recent labs it was obvious that it really does that so I've been religious about getting sun in my eyes first thing in the morning are you guys like this is, or is it just me like when i go out of town even if it's just for a couple days it's like getting back into like i feel like i've been gone a week or a month because i just feel like i have so much to do i'm getting back into my routine and whatnot so today is a filming day you know i always write these to-do lists where i want to do all this shit and it's just not enough hours in the day for what I think I have time to do. And then I only accomplish a half of my to-do list and then I get mad at myself. I also, uh, I have an influencer trip coming up, which is kind of exciting. It ought to be interesting. 
it's, I've never been on an influencer trip before. I used to live in LA and when I lived in LA, I went to all of the events and all of the things. Like early on when that was like first a thing and I've met all of your major big YouTube people circa 2016, 17, 18, you know. This is a different situation. I, I actually don't have the full list of who all is going, so I guess I'm talking prematurely, but I'm excited. It's gonna be cool. You know, I work by myself. I'm alone all the time, so having that like connection um, is exciting for me, being able to connect in person with other women who do this so we can, it's like someone else that gets it, you know? Um, which is nice. So of course I will vlog all of that and you'll get to see behind the scenes of, of that funness and that's happening in a couple weeks. So, um, yeah, I'm working on that. Uh, oh, well, I'm working on getting a dog sitter for one night because my mom is supposed to watch the dogs, but she has a business trip. So I have to get somebody to come here and stay over in my house one night and I'm horrified. I like that. I've never done that. I don't know what the dogs are gonna do. So there's a lot of older ladies that do that around here. So I've been calling around trying to find like the right person and have them come over and meet the dogs and see if I feel comfortable and all that jazz. So I'm working on that today also. Hey, hi buddy. Mm -hmm. He loves sitting with me in the morning, from morning sun time. I haven't meditated today. I haven't actually meditated or worked out in days. Yesterday, my, uh, my handyman came and installed reverse osmosis under my sink because somebody in my county squirted um, tap water up their nose with a neti pot and got a brain-eating amoeba. So, we love that. So I got a reverse osmosis because gross. They started like cranking up the chlorine in, in our tap water to try to like kill it all and like that's not good for you either. So I'm like, but anyway, they came yesterday to do that. So that was in the morning and I was in, you know, I was away for a couple days. So I just, I'm so out of whack. And when I don't have my morning routine, that's when things get wonky, like my meditation and my workouts and the things that make me feel grounded and clear, you know. Good morning. I am off to get a Botox touch-up. That's why I look like a hot mess. I got like nothing on my skin. Um, but like I had Botox a little, little while ago and I could still see movement. My skin is super red. So there's something I wanted to tell you guys because I feel like maybe somebody else can benefit from this so i'm gonna share this even though it's not like i'm not i don't want to say i'm not a sharer because obviously i do vlogs but i don't typically get i don't know how to explain if you've been watching me you know like topics like this like insecurities and like things that I just don't talk about this shit, but i'm going to because and i've gone back and forth like should i shouldn't i but I'm going to because I need to find people who are going through this so that I understand what the fuck is happening. And so basically, um, one week ago today, I started on HRT, which is hormone replacement therapy. Um, and many of you guys who have been following me already know I'm 47. Um, and last year, was it last year that I went through like kind of an episode of menopausal symptoms after going on a round of antibiotics when I had no symptoms prior to that and I healed my gut and it all went away and I did an entire podcast episode talking about that. But this year, like right, like it's almost like it overnight, it happened where I'm noticing the signs of aging that you know a lot of people notice have noticed already by 47 but I'm starting to notice it like I'm not gonna escape aging but it's starting to catch up with me and little things like um, my sleep um, I've been waking up in the middle of the night to pee which I never used to do um, finding it a little bit harder 
like right around my period, I'm gaining a shitload of weight. And then after my period, it goes away. Like, so it's not like weight gain. It's more like water retention, you know, things like that. So I just have been noticing like a bunch of symptoms. So I decided, screw it. I'm going to start HRT. Like my doctor was like, yeah, yeah, you know, whatever. And I'm on a super low dose. But the adjustment period, we're going to talk about it. But first, Botox. Well, I'm still in the car, but it's been a long time later. I even put a little bit of makeup on. I am at grocery pickup, but I just wanted to kind of touch on the whole HRT thing because I was very brief about it. The first week was kind of rough. I'm only in week two. Like it's only been like a, a week and a half really at this point. Immediately felt like typical period symptoms, even though like I started it right after my period, but bloating. I just noticed weight gain, like a little bit. The scale, it wasn't weight. It was just like water retention, you know, which sent me into a little bit of a panic, not gonna lie. But I also noticed that I started sleeping like extremely deep, but like borderline coma, <laughs> like too deep almost. My sensitivity to sweet foods changed where like I'm not I need more sweet just had to get my groceries but yeah so I needed like more sweet in order to detect sweetness which was kind of weird and random my blood sugar got affected I noticed that my blood sugar was like getting a little too low and I did read that it does help with diabetes so I do think that it does um lower your blood sugar which is a good thing so the the weight the water retention has gone down some which is good i think that it's just my body adjusting to the hormone fluctuations and i'm hoping that's the case and hopefully you know after like a, a cycle things will like calm down which is bad timing because i have an influencer trip coming up which i think i told you and so, yeah, not ideal. But, dude, the, the way, like, and nobody tells you, like, nobody prepares you for what happens when your hormones start shifting. But, like, the way my face is, like, falling, like, I just am noticing, like, so much drooping in my neck and, like, around my lower face. And I'm just really not happy about it <laughs> and so yeah I don't know what I'm gonna do like if I'm going to I, I I always thought that I would never do surgery but now like surgery is so far advanced like all these surgeons that I'm following on Instagram I'm seeing like they do like surgeries where it's a day surgery and like you're you look totally normal after like two weeks so something like that I might, I might consider you know like there's a surgeon that I follow in in California and I mean his, his work is amazing and these women look like they've lost 10 years they just look so young and good but the dude is charging like 70 grand to do it and I'm like what on what planet and I have seen some others like here in Florida that are a lot less. So I don't know. I don't know if I would do it or not. I mean, the way that I, you know, this is making me feel right now and thinking maybe I would consider it. I don't know. What are your thoughts on that? Like the procedures that I've been seeing they just do like a lower lift where it's just like your neck and the bottom part of your face like I don't really need it anywhere else just like a little you know I and the surgeon that I follow in California he says that if you do just like a, a light he, he calls his a vertical restore if you do one in your 40s then like it really helps you to age better but I don't know I mean I'd love to 
go to him, but $70,000. Like, I don't know. Like, what? It's insanity. But anyway, I digress. That's my HRT story. I'm kind of hoping that that pumps the brakes on all of this loss, the volume loss in my face, as well as all of the other things. And not for anything. Another, another key thing that nobody tells you is that once you start to enter menopause and your um, hormones like really drop off, you are going to end up with osteoporosis, Alzheimer's, and um, heart disease. And it's not like a if you might, no, you will. And so HRT is really something that is very important for women to be on, but long story short, and you can go check this out on Huberman Labs, um, but they did a study back in the 90s and it was like a faulty study and they basically were like, oh, HRT causes breast cancer, but it's been debunked. So, and when you're young, you're not, you're a low risk. So as long as you're getting your mammograms, you know what I mean? I'm not buying into the the fear mongering honestly all right i don't know where i left off if you guys want me to talk more about this whole hrt journey that i'm on right now i definitely will just let me know but i think i'm gonna leave the vlog here the orion necklace did launch uh on friday so the necklace and the bracelet are available on buyglamlatte.com so if you guys are interested in checking that out it is live and thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.